Hello, welcome guys to my channel. This is Dan Ann for Dan Ann Comics. I'm showing you my February and half of March uh, comic haul. I'm trying to give you guys a video every month or every other month. So these are some books I got at my LCS and the ones I couldn't get there I got on eBay. Um, so hope you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, and hope you like this month's haul. Alright? So first book I have here is Thor number one from 2020. Donny Cates took over the Thor. So this is the first issue. This is where Thor becomes the Herald of Thunder in this uh, book. Next one I got Thor number four came out this week, uh, March 11th. Uh, this is the first appearance of Black Winter. Uh, I think there might be a rumor that this is supposed to be a DC crossover. Um, with Dark Side, I'm not sure. Uh, those are just some rumors. Uh, next up, we have King of Nowhere, number one, from Boom Studios. Um, it seemed to be a pretty hot book. A lot of people are trying to pick that one up, uh, so I got a copy. And then next one up, we have Miss Magnificent, Miss Marvel 13. This is the first appearance of Amulet, uh, new character. Next up we have a Batman 90. This is the first full appearance of the designer. I don't know what kind of character that is or what he's supposed to do, but um, that's that one. And then from Dark Horse, I got a Hidden Society number one. Next up we have a Young Justice 14. This is the first team appearance of Aqualad. Sideways, Spoiler, and Arrowette. Um, that I think they're naming it Young Justice 2 team. I guess it's kind of like uh, we want Avengers split into Avengers and West Coast Avengers. Maybe something similar to that. Next up we have Morbius number 2. I'm still trying to get the first one. Um, Morbius 2, this is the first full appearance of Elizabeth. Next up we have Ant-Man number one. This is the first appearance or cameo appearance of Vespa, Thread, and Tusk. Some new characters. And this is Ant-Man number two. This is the first full appearance of Vespa, Thread, and Tusk. So I had their cameos in the first. And this one, this next one, large print run, but everybody seems to be picking this one up. Mercy number one from Image Comics. Then I picked up one of these. This is a, a low print run, around 10,000 was printed. This is Deja Thoris number four. That's a Louis Perello cover. Beautiful cover. I don't usually buy just because of the covers, but that one was pretty fire, so I decided to pick that one up. And then I got another indie from Aftershock. Uh, join the future number one Some of these indies they may or may not be developed into things so sometimes you know if it looks good I'll pick them up Now this one Seemed to be going pretty good too. the Star Wars bounty hunters number one. This is the first appearance of Nakano lash um, So new character then I have a Strange Academy number one. Now this one has a lot of first appearances. So it's the first appearance of Emily Bright, Doyle, Dormammu, which is Dormammu's son, I guess, um, Calvin Morse, Desi, Shailene Moonpetal, and Zoe something or other. Um, so, you know, this is also somebody may talked about this maybe possibly being like a Disney Plus type of uh, TV show because they're all like the kids of either uh, famous superheroes or whatever all together and then this is just the uh, alternate cover this is a J. Scott Campbell cover Strange Academy number one I really like that cover so with all those first appearances figure I pick it up and then Wolverine got relaunched again no surprise there um, this is the variant edition, Wolverine number one. This also had a first appearance in it. I can't remember who. Uh, but this is the Alex Ross cover. 
Um, I really like that cover, so I decided to pick that one up. Alright, and then from Dark Horse, I got a bang number one. I, this was rumored to be optioned for a TV show. So, I picked one of those up. Plus, it was a low print run. Um, I only found it in one shop that I went to. I went to a couple that week, and that was the only one that had one copy. Uh, and then this next one is from DC, Black Label, Plunge number one. This is Joe Hill. This is Stephen King's son. Uh, you know, he's the one that came up with the Lock and Key Netflix show, which was, which was really good. If you haven't checked that out, I would check that out. Um, so... Decided to pick up a lot of his books since he's starting to get some notoriety with some of his shows. And then this next one, Flash 88. This was the first appearance of Paradox. You know, it's weird with this copy. Some stores had limit one per, and then some didn't. And, you know, a lot of shops still have these on the shelves. So, I mean, I don't know. But may or may not be a good one to get. Uh, new villain. All right, now these next three that I got, I got these off eBay individually um, for, oh, sorry, this next one I got for eBay. Uh, this is Batman Beyond 25. I was looking everywhere for that. Um, that is the first appearance of Ellie Grayson. She is, she turns out to be the Batman, Batwoman from Beyond, like later on when she gets revealed in whatever issue that is, 37, 38, something like that. Now these next two, these were the hot books this this month. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about, or, or got them, or tried to get them. I got my Batman '89. That is the first cameo of Punchline. Okay, and you all know what's coming next. Here is my Year of the Villain Hell Arisen Three, first full appearance of Punchline. So I got all those for cover. Except for the Batman 25, Batman Beyond 25, that was like 20 bucks. Everything else was pretty much cover price. Um, so yeah, I'm happy I got that one. You know, all this hype around this character. And also all this talk around DC, maybe, you know, getting, you know, selling off some characters, possibly. You know, who would buy those or whatever. But, um, you know, again, that's all rumors and speculation. Who knows if they're in trouble or not. But, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I finally got, you know, these two key books this week, you know, which were good. So, um, yeah, if you do, like, subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, I'll see you around.